Yo, what's going on guys? It's Rest. In this video, I want to go over the Hero's Burden, which is a returning Iron Banner weapon coming back that you can farm this season. This has been one of the best weapons in the game ever since the game launched. This gun actually came out with the beginning of Destiny 2 with one of the first Iron Banners, and there's a bunch of different unique things that make this really, really good. So starting off, this is just a 900 round per minute SMG, but the difference is that it has the adaptive frame perk. Most 900 round per minute SMGs normally have the lightweight frame, which gives you more mobility, but this is an adaptive frame which makes it more reliable and sturdy so essentially it's just going to be all around a lot easier to shoot now this has some very unique pvp and pve roles which is very very good so to start off with pvp because i know that's what most people are going to want to use this for the very unique role you can get is having like a range master work with full bore then you can also have something like hot cob around since this is a 900 rpm uh smg you're going to want to shoot a lot of hot cob rounds very fast at enemy then you can also run things like Zen Moment if you want to, but then it can also come with Iron Reach. So this gives your SMG 94 range and zero stability, which is very funny. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to perform a Crucible. I would imagine it will probably be okay on PC, but I am not confident that this role will actually be good on controller. We will have to see how the zero stability works, but if it is easy to shoot, this is the role you're going to, want to go for on mouse and keyboard at least it's the one everybody's going to probably try to get you it nearly has max range and you're going to be able to map people with it but you can obviously also just run things like arrowhead uh ricochet zen moment to make up for some stability and then iron reach so you have 20 additional range and you still have like a 79 range stat which is good especially with the masterwork and it's still overall very good smg but if you do want to get a little crazy with it you can just go something like that and have zero stability with almost 100 range which is very very funny to me now this also has potential to be one of the best pve weapons in the game this is a void smg so it's going to pair really well with void 3.0 for mask work you can kind of do whatever i just throw a range on there uh also like arrow hit braid to get max recoil direction makes it easier to shoot and just a little bit more handling always go with armor piercing rounds for a pve weapon because this does give a five percent damage increase to shields which is pretty good obviously this is going to be your primary weapon but getting into the next column you have things like feed and frenzy which is one of the best pve perks in the game the more kills you get the more reload speed you get which is really good but then for pve you have things like kill clip which could be okay but the main thing is you want repulsor brace this is an extremely strong perk so defeating a void debuff target grants an overshield so void debuffs are things like suppression and volatile and this does work with volatile rounds so if you can have the fragment to proc volatile rounds with a grenade you then in return are going to have this constantly giving you an overshield every time you get a kill with volatile rounds is insanely strong especially paired with feed and frenzy you get some more reload speed and you can keep the chain going you're always going to have an overshield makes you very tanky and then you can even play into overshield based perks so in both areas of the game pvp and pve they have some very unique roles that no other smg or really any weapon can do in the game so definitely be on the lookout for this since iron banner is only going to be available for two weeks this season be sure to farm this as much as possible and you can now focus ingram as well so hopefully it will be a little easier but anyway that's going to all for me if you guys have any other perk recommendations be sure to let me know in the comments below and if you'd like to see more destiny content be sure to stick around the channel but thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace